Okay. Jim Lawson here again with a really special guest with me today, Mr. Sean Silas from Our Eleven Band. Thank you, sir. Welcome, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much. How's things going? Really good, man. Just trying to get stuff going on with the band, and uh, we're going to be setting up a tour soon, and uh, and come out with a new CD. Awesome. Awesome. So everything's good. <clears throat> so, uh, Sean's uh, appeared in our booth before at the NAMM show, and uh, you know, he's here with us today to share a real exciting announcement that we have about him and Bourne's Pro Audio. Before I get to that, uh, let me just tell you a little bit about Sean, for those who don't know, and his background as a musician, his background as a guitarist. So you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but oh. I, I did my homework. Okay? <laughs> so Sean's been gigging around in, in SoCal here for about 20 years or maybe more. And when he was very young, his parents introduced him to music by the way uh, of uh, classical piano and accordion age of seven. Accordion. <laughs> was it accordion first or piano second and, or the other way around? Well, you it, don't remember, you don't care to remember. Well, <laughs> well now since at this time I guess I probably should bring it up. <laughs> um, well, it was accordion first. Mm -hmm. um, my parents, they got me into that first because it, it drew my attention, you know. Sure. And, um, and then uh, right after that then I got into the piano, which was a lot more you know, interesting. Sure. Mm -hmm. But it didn't last long, did it? No. So no. he got a, he got a nice educational <laughs> stint from that uh, with the keyboards, but I, he got bit by the rock and roll uh, sounds of Kiss and Ozzy and, and, and those likes. He decided to try guitar. Yes. So his playing is influenced by Randy Rhodes, George Lynch, Phil yes. Collin, Eddie Van Halen, of course. Notice the twin EVH guitars we have here. And Stevie Vai. Um, I'm told you played incessantly, and after only two years, mm -hmm. you were in a studio for the first time, and yes. you were playing in guitar contests. That yes. must have been pretty, pretty cool. Yes. So at 19, which was like last year, right? Yes, very much um, last year. Yeah, he, he started his first real band, and off, off he went. And as with most professional musicians, you know, the bands can come and go, but I think for Sean, that each one of those was a, a building block to where, where he's gotten to today. Um, uh, about six years ago in 2010, uh, his current band, uh, which is called Hour 11, it was formed and they, they recently uh, signed a record deal with Culture Shock Original Records, which is really cool. Um, released a self-titled debut uh, CD and it features uh, guitarist uh, Phil Collins from Def Leppard, uh, amongst other people. So back in November, um, Bournes announced uh, an endorsement of Pro Audio products uh, by, by Sean here which is really nice, and we thank you for that. And, and in the you. February issue, That's Premier awesome. Guitar, which is on the, uh, on the stands right now, would be at the NAMM show. That is so rad. <laughs> nice ad. I mean, it's not the cover of the Rolling Stone, but it's pretty good for, for a musician. Huh? Yes, very much so. It's a blessing. So it's, a, it, it's announcing the, uh, what, we, what we're here to talk about today, which is uh, um, uh, the introduction of, of Sean's signature guitar pod. Yes. A little hang tag here, but what we're doing is uh, Sean came to us and um, wanted us to look at doing a guitar pot the way he would like to see it in his guitars. So tell me a little bit about how did you learn or hear about Bourne's guitar pots? Well, it's a, I would say through Fender, um, for me building, you know, I see a lot of different parts come through yeah. and I see a lot of different brands and everything and then um, for the last three years, I think three or four years. No, actually, it's with this model with uh, with the Wolfgang. On the Wolfgang, it's you know it has the pots in there from Borns. So I was really really happy to feel that you know I mean to have that control and everything, and it's real smooth and uh, 
it's reliable, you know, because, um, I mean, like, we build them. I mean, I actually have to torque on them really tight, you know, because Eddie wants everything super tight. Well, we're thrilled to have you back in our, our, our guitar pot, Sean. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to be at the NAMM show uh, doing a little more promotion of this, um, and you'll be there in hour 11. This band will be there. So let's talk a little bit about this this uh, signature guitar pot. What what do you think drives the need for you anyway for something different um, that doesn't come already built in a guitar besides that one? <laughs> because that has our pots in it. But yeah. you know uh, any other guitar you've ever had? Well, what what's wrong with what comes from the factory? Um, well, I would say that uh, what's wrong is um, they're not like reliable, you know, and like I'll you know, like install the pot from from some other company mm -hmm. and then I'll tighten it down and then I could feel like a little ridge in there like something pretty much bent in there so you know so we have problems like that from other companies <coughs> and and then but then when I started to uh, you know check out the pots through like the Wolfgang and through the Chris Broderick his his line um, it's just something about it you know just from just putting putting the pots in there but then when you start you know playing the guitar like with this guitar it has the, the 500k you know, on this brand in here, <laughs> and I, uh, it's a, uh, like I, I notice a tone change, you know, which is what I wanted, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, like, it's like a smoother tone, I mean, that I hear, right, you know, and then I can roll it back, you know, I can roll it down to zero, well, not zero, but one or two, and really get a nice, clean, you know. So the, you so know. it's hanging in there all the way down oh. to almost to zero. All the way around. Right. Um, <clears throat> and you mentioned you know, the playing part of it. It's one thing to build it, it's another thing to have it play and be reliable on the road and you know mm -hmm. what it's like to be on the road. Mm -hmm. And of course all your roadies and your your multiple guitar techs take care of your guitar <laughs> for you. And so yeah, what do you do when something breaks? Um, if something breaks, it's really it's really, really simple for the tech to change it. My, my buddy Greg Garcia, he's our, our sound tech for, you know, for, mm -hmm. for the band for Hour 11. Uh, it's really easy, it's just a matter of just getting the the uh, set screw, you know, and taking off the pot, and then you know, getting the wrench to take off the nut and stuff, and <coughs> install it, solder it. So, um, you have? Do you have samples of this in your guitar already? Yes, I have the. Could be the first, first off the line. Yes, I have it in the volume control. Yeah. And um, we're gonna work on some other things together. Yes, I would like to get tone, a tone control. Tone control for okay. sure. You know, to make it complete. So we have a. Now we have a growing list of what I would call famous and soon to be famous or, or just <laughs> famous guitar players who, uh, who are using our guitar and amp amplifier pots in their gear. Two of the longest fans are Seymour Duncan and Jeff Carlisi from 38 Special and now we have Sean Silas. Thank you. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, Horns will welcome Sean and our 11 at the NAMM show uh, later this week. We're we'll in Hall A. Booth 6865, and you know you'll be there uh, Friday from two to three, Saturday from two to three, Sunday from 10:30 to 11:30. That might be tough. You have a gig on Saturday night. Well, not the band. Good. But <laughs> no. and, and our 11 is going to be with us on Saturday as well, from 10:30 to 11:30. So that's yes. going to be kind of cool. We'll be looking, looking forward to that. So, anything else you'd like to add? Where, where can the fans listen to your music, your band? Maybe cough up a little coin to buy a CD or download, uh, you know, yeah. some music. Um, they could go to iTunes. Um, they could go to Amazon. Uh, there's, I mean, it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, we'll have some physical CDs out soon, and then they could buy the, the physical CD. Good, um, good. That's that's really excellent. I want to thank you for being here today, and thank you. congratulations. <laughs> I'm pumped, and we'll see you. Uh, what do you say Friday? Friday. Yeah. So this is Jim Lawson from Borns Pro Audio reminding you, play longer, play louder, and play harder with Borns Pro Audio products. We'll see you next time.